artists too concerned about evoking emotions through shock tactics? How does the Auckland Art Gallery decide what is socially acceptable to exhibit? Well, the first thing you have to do is decide what's meant by socially acceptable and who defines what's socially acceptable. Is it society? Is it a community within the whole of society? Is it the city council or the RFA who actually own this building? Is it the director? Is it the individuals who work here? Because it's really, people used to think you could just say, well, this is what society believes in and that's what society believes in but in fact it doesn't work like that anymore and almost all cultures at all times have debated what is acceptable and what isn't. There is an exhibition policy that the gallery uh, has which um, is updated every you know 10 or 20 years and the exhibition policy is what we turn to to decide which shows will be put on basically. It informs our decision making. Because I'm the librarian here and the archivist, I do deal with the old stuff quite a lot. And so um, as part of my job, every now and again I do go back to the previous exhibitions and look into uh, what caused controversy in the past. I thought I'd start with 1956. So what happened was that the gallery had all these works coming in from Britain of Henry Moore, the sculptor, who had been exhibiting for probably 30 years in, in Great Britain. And the public of Auckland found it a real challenge to um, view these works of art because they looked nothing like what they were used to. So we got page after page of Aucklanders being disturbed by these sculptures. People have a strong reaction to something and they initially don't like it. Well, you know, that might make them think. It might just be something that will resonate with them. You can't, you can't please everybody. And and I think if we went the other way and we were, were too staid and we didn't take risks and didn't try and put on things that were challenging and thought provoking, then it would be a pretty it would be a pretty boring place to to come and visit. So, but it's got to be a mix. Without having art that causes controversy and discussion, would the art gallery be the same?